Hey, it's me, and today we're going to be restoring some cat statues. These particular cat statues are in very rough shape. They have been around since I was a kid. My grandparents got them for me because I loved cats. Before I got my oldest cat, Angus, who is now 16 at the time of filming this, I had no cats, but I really wanted them. So I got two cat statues. These were originally black and white. They had really marbly eyes that were really pretty. Over the years though, those eyes fell out and have been obliterated. I don't know where they are. There are no traces of them. And I couldn't even tell you where the remnants could be. On top of that, there are pieces broken out of them. I don't exactly know what material they're made out of. It's not pottery. It's not plastic. I'm not 100% sure what they are. So this is going to be a big challenge in the sense that I'm going to need to rebuild portions of these statues. And I'm going to do that with air dry clay. Is that the best thing you could use for this? Maybe not. But I don't have much intentions of putting them back outside. I plan on keeping them inside and just making them really cute so that I can display them inside. They are going to become indoor decorations. I have some ideas for what I want to do with them, but I'm not going to spoil it for you because I'm hoping it's going to be a very sweet transition. There's going to be a lot of learning curves to this. I've got to rebuild things and I have to not only rebuild the eyes, but paint them to look like cat eyes. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs>
so that project took me about two months. To be honest, this should have been completed earlier, but life has been busy this summer. Probably more busy than in the past. I have been out of town most weekends this summer, which is fun. And on top of that, I worked three days during the week. So essentially my energy was zapped <laughs> from me. And then also applying for and accepting a teaching job. <laughs> Got a job. That has taken a lot of energy from me. Because of that, a lot of my projects have taken significantly longer this summer. I'm not blaming, I'm just explaining why I took so long to paint two solid color cats. So let me explain what my design choice was. I designed these two cats after my two lovely boys, Angus and Felix. Angus is 16, Felix is six. There is about a 10 year age difference. Both of these boys celebrate their birthdays in August. Perfect timing, right? I chose these designs because number one, I want to preserve my beautiful boys in statue form forever. And two, because they are solid color. And I knew I could do that with the amount of work I had to do to the statues themselves to prepare. So I cut a corner there but I also made it meaningful. To repair these statues, I had to use air dry clay with the intention that they will probably not go outside as decorations again. Molded that onto the parts that were cracked and broken off. And then the tedious process of making fur inventions was about the most tedious part, but I'm really proud of how they came out. And I'll show you that in a minute. I also had to sculpt ears. I didn't realize their ears were so damaged until I was staring at it and I realized, oh, cat ears don't round like that unless they're very specific cat breeds. These were not that. So I had to craft the point. So a lot of work went into there. And then I had to make eyes. Now the eyes are probably not my best work, but I did it. I think I made them a little too bulbous but it, it works, I guess. That's kind of how they originally were, but I feel like mine came out just a hair bulgier, but we're just not gonna look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my cats. I'm gonna start with Felix. So this is Felix. I went with a nice little tan color. I went specifically to Hobby Lobby and bought paints that matched his fur color. I took pictures and I matched them. He is pretty much a yellow cat. He's not orange. So I went in with the little tan color. And then of course there's a lighter shade on his tail. I love his tail. It's got like an almost white tip. I think the stripes are a little over exaggerated, but I'm not gonna go too hard on it. I think it's cute. I went in with a sponge and did the chest did a little bit lighter color around the mouth and the forehead and then put a lighter color in the ears. The ears were unnecessary, but I didn't want a solid yellow everything. On the back, I did a slightly darker tan color. This was more of a brown. I think it looks a little more orangey on the statue when it was dry, but I wanted some shading. I didn't want just one solid color. And for the eyes, I went with an olive color. And then in the middles, I went with that same color but I put a little white in it just to give them a little bit more definition. I didn't like how dark it was to start with. Nose is pink. All of the work that went into his ears you can't see as well because of the light colors. So then along with the ears I had to sculpt the tip of his tail. Now it did crack a little bit but I'm trying not to worry too much about that and I think the shading overall came out pretty nicely. I tried not to be too particular about it so it came out a little bit more like a natural feel so I'm really proud of how this came out and I think it will look good sitting up on a perch somewhere looking all cute. And then second is little Angus, 16 year old Angus, old man. He is gray and his eyes are a green with that lighter shade, once again, of green on them. He has some striping on his tail. He had it a lot when he was a kitten. 
So I wanted to bring back some of that. Again, I think the stripes are a little too exaggerated, but it adds something to it. On his back is a darker shade of gray, a little bit of shading there. And inside of his ears is once again, a darker shade of gray. He was a little bit easier since he is a darker cat. The Felix one, because it was so light and the underside was dark, it was really hard to get him to look light and clean. So this is definitely the easier one. <laughs> this one is my favorite just because of how the shading came out and the lighter gray on the mouth and the nose, just like him came out really nice but the felix one i love the lighter color on that darker tan i just i love it so much i think they both turned out so cute and they will definitely be displayed probably together as a set it just absolutely makes my heart happy that i have now preserved both of them in statue form so i hope you all enjoyed watching this i know i did I love restoring things and this one now has a lot of sentimental value to me not only because I received them as a child and loved them but now because they look like my two beautiful boys. Please let me know if you want to see more like this because it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and of course if I see anything I'll be sure to grab it and try again and keep improving my restoration skills in this area. I'm always looking to improve, looking to learn new things, and having an audience really helps to get different kinds of feedback. So in turn, it helps me to be a better artist. <laughs> With that, I will see you all next week.